Hello. 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 Can you hear me at the back? Can you hear me at the back? Well, I'd just like to start by congratulating Dave on a magnificent speech. I knew it would be a hard one to follow, and I was right. I couldn't follow a word of it. But I'm, I'm sure it would be meaningful. Right, I've got to put this down and read stuff. Does this sound too loud? Well, I've got a few thank yous to say first of all. I've got to say thank you to the bridesmaids. Catherine, Claire, Eleanor, who all look beautiful today. I did a magnificent job. Thank you. <laughs> it's easy this life. <laughs> Not all worried about. <laughs> I'd like to thank my assistant Merv, the usher, who's done a brilliant job, a great help. Thank you. We're going to ease it today. I'd also like to say a special thanks to Pee Wee for helping with the stag do, the invitations, the recording, letting me sip at his house. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Oh, I'm loving this now. <laughs> I wish I'd grow up more. <laughs> I'm going to milk it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kev, Dave's cousin, the best man. I've known him all his life. If he's in the police force, I've never seen him before. <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> I was quite nervous before, about doing this speech. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been for weeks thinking about it and it's been racking my brains. But I've been given some good advice. Someone told me, imagine everybody naked in front of you. So if you'll just give me a minute. <laughs> right, <love. laughs> hey, don't be shy. <laughs> nice. I also got told, so I help write the speech, look at it, isn't it? But I'm pretty new to this sort of stuff. So after five hours of looking at stuff I found, if anything, I was left speechless. <laughs> and slightly aroused. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> then I worried, how long should the speech last? I didn't know. And someone said it should take as long as it takes the groom to consummate the marriage. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Dave's still got a bag letter from Stagdo. <laughs> so I think we're both going to put wild tonight. <laughs> uh, tough crowd now, I knew I should have left that one out. <laughs> right, well, I've got something to say about Dave. There's so much to say, but there's not much stuff you can actually say. <laughs> People who are respectable, <laughs> without criminal records and stuff like that. So, I'll just tell you the basis. Dave was born on the 20th of March 1980 in St. James Hospital. It was a long, complicated birth. It came out feet first, and I thought it was a cesarean section when they got to his nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm not saying he's an ugly baby, <laughs> but it's more when he started with morning sickness when he was born. <laughs> I'm cooking myself up now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it was quite a slow start as well. At nursery, we were different to all the five year olds. Like he was 12. <laughs> And he had sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> but he soon became a quick learner. I'll never forget one day in primary school, he came up to me, so proud. Kev, I'm gonna swear now, I'm sorry. Cover kids' eyes. One word. <laughs> I got drunk. <laughs> 
said, I, I've not asked to buy one. Shit. <laughs> Shit it in. Well, we were so proud. <laughs> We were walking around, that shit it that shit it It was just a shame, it took us two years later to uh, spell shit. <laughs> uh, I think we were seven at the time, because David just started shaving, that's why I remember. <laughs> it was also quite a business entrepreneur though. We were hanging around, we've started businesses, and we had a right old good thing going. When we were needing money, we need some sweets, we'd go out to his friends' houses, nick the toys, do a jumble sale, <laughs> sell them, quick turnover, within the hour, we were eating sweets. <laughs> but we always shared the money evenly, don't we? <laughs> when Dave spent his, he took half of mine, so, <laughs> in 50 50 split. And not much has changed since now. <laughs> but doing things like that, though, you've got to be a quick thinker. I'll never forget a time at Flamingo Land. Me and Dave were in a shop, minding his own business, quietly putting pick and mix sweets in his pocket. <laughs> yeah, what's the problem? <laughs> then some guy comes up. What are you doing? Dave, quick as a flash, said, well, what? Once you pay to get in, it's all free, innit? <laughs> we got away with it. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm milking this now. <laughs> I think I might cut it a bit short. <laughs> She's been very kind of my <laughs> But I'll fast forward a few years and then Dave met Emma in Creation Nightclub in Leeds. Glass House. Glass House in Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> I've researched this, don't I? <laughs> in Leeds, the net. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> Unfortunately for Emma, she hadn't been out for a while, it was just a look to bump into Dave. <laughs> <laughs> but they ate it off, she saw something, I don't know what. <laughs> oh, I think it's nose, and then... <laughs> <laughs> After that, she made his personality and she got to like him. <laughs> don't judge, it's alright. <laughs> but here we are now, seven years, eight years, was <laughs> it? Seven. Seven years later. We're here today, and I'm good to say, I'm pleased to be here. I'm sure you are all very pleased. This ain't even written down, this one's going the wrong here, right? <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not gonna, Dave, like every other couple, they've had their ups and downs. I'm not gonna lie to you. I spent a summer in Spain with them, and they had more ups and downs that summer than Paris and his knickers. <laughs> 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 but they came through it, and they're here today. Right now I've got to go serious and I'll read some cards. <laughs>